Hallelujah to Jesus, Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Asher of days, be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. Child of God, hear me very well. Hear me very well. There will be unity again. There will be unity again. I don't know which family is this that the enemy have invaded with division. This breaks your heart so much to see your family divided. You want love. You want love. But the more that you try, the more it seems as if you are not doing anything. It is okay. It is okay, you know. Sometimes the enemy uses what we love most to attack us. I know how it feels to be betrayed by people that you are wishing well for, you know. But this family, there will be love again. There will be, re there will be unity again. There will be unity again. So why is this message coming? The enemy wants to use that division to stop you from concentrating on what you need to concentrate on. Leave the issue in the hands of God. Because the more you want to strive, like physical strive, like physically, you want to do it. Oh, brother, come. Oh, sister, come. They always find a reason. You even want to tell them about salvation. They look at you like someone that is mad. They are like, what is going on? And they even accuse you. They accuse you. This person, their family that you are even fighting for, they accuse you. It's okay. You want love. Love will reign. Peace will reign. But you don't need to die before that peace happens. In other words, you need to protect your peace of mind. Hear me very well. You need to protect your peace of mind. Yes, because the enemy is using that division to distort your mindset. To distort your mindset. You are looking for what went wrong. But yet, no one wants to even realize that something has gone wrong. It is time for you to take it to God in prayer. Why you concentrate on living your life? Let God reunite the whole. You are too young to die. You are too young to die of whatever, BP, depression, whatever. Leave it in the hands of God. The enemy has invaded. Why? Because there were loopholes. There were loopholes. These are the ways, the method that the enemy used to enter. But one thing is certain, the devil is an accuser of their brethren. So they will use that loophole to keep accusing their family. So that is why you need to refocus and start praying for mercy. And start praying for mercy. And start praying for mercy. God sees your heart. He knows what you wish to see. You want to see everybody surround the table and eat together. It will happen. But you don't need to kill yourself. Let God intervene. Let God touch the heart of your family members. I pray for you. There will be unity again in that household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.